easy, doesn't it? But why don't we know how to? And then you might feel silly for asking. But really, journaling is just about setting aside a little, quiet, undistracted time to sit down and think about your life. There's no right or wrong way about doing it. The next step is to simply find a way that works for you. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you nine simple ways to start journaling when you're a beginner. Now the power of journaling is really in the questions you ask yourself. And there are many things you can journal about which can be overwhelming, which stops us from starting. So today we'll cover simple ways to journal about clarity, inspiration, and motivation. This is one you can do every day. Simply at the top of the page, write down, how am I feeling right now? Investing two minutes to write about how you are feeling right now. The pure, unedited version of you takes the weight off your shoulders. To make it more specific, you can ask yourself, how am I feeling today about my health, my relationships, my work, my spiritual connection, growth, or my leadership? Maybe you address relationships on a Monday, Tuesday, you health, Wednesday, leadership, so you choose. So that's one way of doing it. Continue with the areas of your life that matter most to you. Come next Monday, you do the same thing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then you can look back and see how you've grown. If you've changed, if not, then maybe there is something you could change. Just set two minutes aside to start writing. If you write more than two minutes, brilliant. But it's about just setting a really easy minimum target. Another way to journal for clarity is what am I noticing? This simple question makes you more aware of yourself and be more present in your life. And again, you can make it more specific. What am I noticing about my body, my health? You get the picture. Another way to journal for clarity, what is draining my energy? and taking me away from the present. How can I manage it better, reduce or eliminate the cause? This kind of journaling and reflection is a way of decluttering your life and explore areas that takes you out of the present or that keeps you from recognizing inspiration and serendipity. Sometimes it's the seemingly small and insignificant that really depletes your energy. Three good things from today were Three good things from yesterday were Stopping and appreciating your life is one of the most nourishing things you can do. What you find is the more you notice the good, the more good you will notice. Another question you can ask is a sound that made me feel good today was. Listening is actually one of my preferred mindfulness practices. I don't know if it works for you, but I thought I'd put this one out there. So asking yourself this question not only asks you to, to get present, but it also helps you notice the soundtrack of your life. Who do I admire and why? See, the reason we admire people is because they have traits that we aspire to become. Reflecting on who you admire and writing those character traits down is like unpicking the ingredients of a delicious curry. Because when you know the ingredients, you can cook it yourself. So think about someone who inspires you and all the reasons why they inspire you. And then little by little, you can start inhabiting those traits and that will bring you closer to becoming the aversion of you you aspire to be. Well, Audrey Hepburn's always been on that list, obviously not for her fart jokes. Here's a bonus follow-up question for this one about who you aspire to become. How am I being more and insert the character trait, not the person, but the character trait that you admire. It's a way to help you keep track and to watch your progress. How am I being more graceful? <laughs> Ask yourself, what are my three critical tasks today? The key is to make it tiny, action-orientated, start-orientated. Okay, what does that mean? Instead of make journal video, I would write set up 
shop for journal video or instead of declutter the crap drawer empty the crap drawer it's focused on the starting action what are my three priorities over the next three months being super clear and focused on what matters most is incredibly motivating. I do this at the end of my day as a punctuation mark so I can begin my evening. What progress did I make and what improvements could I make? So when you break down your day into these segments, you can see what's working for you and areas where you can improve on. You can also see what was stressful, what was unfulfilling, what was fulfilling, and you might even begin to notice some patterns that stand out, good or bad. This question helps you set out a vision of what you would like to achieve. What does success look like for me? You could either do that at the beginning of your day, what does a successful day look like for me? The beginning of your week or the beginning of a month? Choose what works for you. I like to do this daily. Here's what you do next. Pick one from this list. Write the question at the top of your journal. Set your countdown timer for two minutes and just answer the question. These tips will get you started. But just so you truly get to know the quality of your thoughts, how do you make decisions? Do your decisions make sense? We'll cover all of this and more in future episodes. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out. Now one trap people fall down in when they journal. How do you set up your journal? What Watch this episode next, I share a simple, minimal system I use to set up my journal. You know, I look forward to this journey with you. Lawrence, thank you so much for the question. Good luck, I'll see you in another episode.